Okay, so my name is Amber Lacey. My name is Emily Walden. A-S-H-L-E-Y-H-U-G-H-E-S. That is J-E-R-E-M-Y-R-I-V-E-R-A-S-A-N-C-H-E-Z. Yeah, sure. Uh, Dakota Stansfield. Okay, Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Alexander, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R. The newscast started with a small group of students about 12 years ago. Second Amendment Sanctuary City, harsh weather. You know what to do in here, kind of. Kind of? Okay. My first time. So the news is primarily produced by undergraduate students. Um, it always has been. See, that's why I don't guess why I was made for in front of the camera and not behind. But I'm just kidding. Yeah. So, 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 so. Freak is just clip. See, I don't like the clip. No. Yeah. Oh, no. How do I like T-Dean? It's actually really fun. It's very nerve-wracking. I'm not going to say I have the hardest job in the show because I don't. That's all my anchors and everything that the producer and everything getting everything situated and, you know, giving it to me. I just have to put it in order and press a bunch of buttons. I'd never even thought about doing broadcast. But my senior year, you know, everybody was telling me, hey, hey, you should like really, really pick out, you know, a degree, like something you want to get into. But everybody was freaking me out, making me think I had to think of something. And so I was like, well, I used to do YouTube. And so um, I was like, well, I really like doing that. So if I could do that and make a career out of it, heck yeah. And so that's where it kind of all started. And I started off just being on one of the cameras most often, usually camera one, because it didn't require that much movement. And then from there, uh, especially after COVID and they had less people in the studio, I was typically the floor manager. I heard about the news from one of my classes, so I went to the production meeting. And that is where I met the producer. She's like, oh, would you like to shadow me? And of course I did. I am responsible for a lot of things. I have to keep things on time. I have to make sure that everybody knows what they have to do. And I also have to know what they have to do. I have to write the script, make the rundown. Basically, it's an all weeks thing. Yes, well, I serve as a graduate assistant here in the communications department. So that affords me the opportunity to work with so many great students and just be involved with the students in productions and writing, uh, video editing, whatever they may have or have a vision for, I get to assist in that. Well, I always tell my students in my intro level class, now's the time to really experience all different kinds of productions and see what uh, their interest may be. I remember my first audition still as well. I came coming here and sat at the desk and literally messed up every single time, but it was fun. Um, but this was like the first time in front of the camera, so um, I was extremely nervous. Uh, first time I TD'd on the news, um, I did mess up. <laughs> um, they just threw me in there and I just went. I did click take to go to camera two um, when one of my anchors was not ready uh, while we were live. So I had to switch back into a commercial real quick. So yes, I did mess up, but I learned from it and uh, hasn't happened since, knock on wood. Some qualities I feel like a good floor manager needs is to be assertive or at least confident in their voice because my freshman year when I was just on camera one and there was a different floor manager, a lot of times the TD would ask me to have the talent, do a test run or audio check or something like that. And I feel like my voice wasn't very loud enough. People couldn't really hear me. And the floor manager was always the one that just, she was able to speak over everyone else. And so now um, being in that position now, I am able to uh, get people to be quiet on set or get the test done or white balance and whatever that needs to be done. So that's typically the, the number one thing I believe most floor managers need is that voice that carries through the studio. So the first time I was ever involved in the news was as a replacement for the anchor. So I did the anchoring and that is where I met the producer. She was asking me, oh, would you like to 
anchor more or would you like to produce for me? Um, so I started off in weather and I'm still there today. Uh, <laughs> So the first one, the current anchor for weather couldn't be there that week. And normally at that time, I only worked on crew. So I work, I help in the teleprompter, sometimes audio, and then on camera. Those um, experiences that I built here in the studio and at Austin P afforded me the opportunity to have those internships in undergrad. I guess the most challenging experience I have had being a floor uh, manager is being able to communicate with um, the newscast as far as what the TD is trying to tell me. So it might be something as simple as your hair covering up the microphone or um, someone not sitting up straight and I'm trying to get the shot or um, people talking in the background during an audio check. So it's really more about the communication aspect that's the most challenging part, um, being able to communicate what it is that the director wants to see on the screen and getting it done in a way with also interacting with different people in their own personalities and um, issues that they might have. Experience. Um, so I would have to say it's, um, well, I always get new experiences that I love and it's hard to pick the, my favorite one, but before the news starts, so like we have a call time to be there and that's like an hour before the actual news. That hour before we go live is the best time ever. I mean, that's when we have the most fun. You get to see like the real personality of everyone in the news. So I have a lot of fond memories of like call time that hour of getting ready and getting mic'd up and then almost goofing off on set and um, getting ready. The news is always fluctuating. I mean, everybody's on a learning curve and everybody learns in their own different ways. Um, so it took me probably a whole year to even get comfortable sitting here. And I try not to dread anything that I do in life. And if it's something I don't like or I dread, I just don't do it. But this right here, I love it. I, I just, I love seeing the students just so passionate, so. Uh. <laughs> I guess I could just reiterate a few things about being open-minded to trying new things, being willing to communicate with people, uh, your professors if you wanna do your own show, but um, I definitely say you really have to make college, uh, or at least Austin P the most of it. You have to get the most out of your college experience. So if you feel like you haven't been doing much of anything, I would definitely recommend talking to some people and figuring out what would be best for you to do. I feel that while they're in college, while they're um, in school, it is a good opportunity to experience all different types of things and news production is one of them. Is it easy? Heck no. I'm sitting up there smiling, but child, deep down I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's worth it because it gives you the ability to expand your knowledge and really hone in on your focus to understand the impact. If you want to do it, do it. But this is not something to do just because it's like, oh, I feel like I need to do it. Like you have to have your passion for doing it because it's hard work, but it's worth it. I would like to say that if you're looking to either get into the news or become acquainted with the news, I would always just try to get your foot in first. It doesn't matter if you're getting your foot in with something that you want to do, just become known and have connections with other people that are in the news so you can get to where you want to be. All in any type of broadcasting, do it. Even if you're in public relations and it's not your major because um, it's a good way to gain experience because in the real world, they work hand in hand together. You need to know how to write an AP style. You need to know how to communicate. You need to know how behind the camera and in front of the camera works. So I encourage all of you that are interested um, or even have a hint of interest to check it out, to come by, to even just uh, shadow someone. Anything you can do to get your foot in the door, you always wanna be chasing your better self 10 years ahead. So make sure you do now and not regret later. If you're scared, it's okay to be scared. Um, I was scared starting off. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I just knew what I was doing in class, and I guess I just applied that to here. Um, it's very easy to get into it. There's some 
harder stuff to actually do, but once you get the hang of it, you will, you know, all the other stuff will just come to you. Yeah, definitely. Coming into the news, I think it's great. Um, I think if you're going to be in broadcast, 100% get involved in something. Um, if it's not the news, there's tons of other shows here that you could get involved in. It's super helpful, and it's a great way to kind of work out all those kinks without having so much pressure. If I were to tell someone who was looking into being on the newscast or just a little nervous about it, I guess I would tell them to just have fun with it, take, take a chance, uh, just take up on the opportunities that they do have here at Austin P because it's not um, that difficult or not as scary as you might think. Um, initially, it might be a little intimidating because there are typically older upperclassmen, older people, um, but in all in all, everyone here is really just trying to get the job done. And it's interesting to see the process of everything. So if you really are just interested in having a new experience or just seeing something new in the communication department, then definitely just give it a try. I may be repeating this, but never say no to an opportunity. Um, take whatever opportunity you're given and try it. Um, it doesn't hurt to make uh, mistakes or even just to try new things, um, but now's the time to, to experience that. Um, if I could give any um, young student advice or just students around my age advice is to stay persistent. And um, this is random, but let no one's insecurities, let no one else's insecurities influence you. You know, don't take someone else's insecurities and allow those insecurities to project on you. You have, to ability, you have the ability to be whoever and whatever you want to be. So remember that at all times. For this to really work is the commitment from the students. And that's a growth that I've seen throughout the, these years is that there's more committed students. Yeah, it just makes me very happy that we are able to do a weekly newscast. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else you want to say. Oh, I can't think of anything. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, yeah. Oh, no problem. Hey, thank you, that was, that's You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I think that I think that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Yeah, of course. Hi, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, Hi, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll do it. Hi, uh, thank you. That was it. Uh, Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Um, I, I I'm hoping that I covered everything you that you need um for your project. Yeah. Uh yes yeah. You did, and more. <laughs>